good morning yo it is a beautiful summer day as you can see it is currently 18 degrees here in wichita kansas with a wind chill of negative six i'm still doing the cold exposure thing i have yet to wear a coat one time this winter <laughs> you should see the looks at the truck stops so i'm just getting started for the morning making a pot of coffee and get a nice brisk wake up i'm an indian outlaw half cherokee and chalk my baby, she's a Chippewa, oh, she's a one of a kind. All my friends call me Bear Claw. The village chicken is my papa. He gets his orders from my mama. She makes him walk the line. You can find me in my wigwam. I'll be beating on my tom tom. Pull out the pipe and smoke you some. Hey, and pass it around. Cause I'm an Indian outlaw. Half Cherokee and Choctaw My baby, she's a Chippewa She's a one of a kind Okay, yo, as you can see I don't even have goosebumps And I just like bathed in snow and ice At negative eight degrees or whatever I said. It's freaking awesome. And <laughs> look at that driver that passed by. Doesn't help that my APU went out in the truck. So rather than idle all night long and burn the fuel, I just kind of go with it. And I usually wake up about the time that I can't feel my arms <laughs> and about half my face is numb like I've had a stroke. <laughs> One morning I like woke up and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Smack right into the counter. I'm like, yay, these are the good days. These are the good days trucking. I will look back on these days one day and say it was all worth it. Like every other great entrepreneur in history. Elon Musk didn't even have an apartment at one point. He literally slept in his office just so that he could afford to have an office so that he could start PayPal. It's what it takes, yo. It's what it takes. One thing I forgot to mention is I've been fasting for three days. Yes, three days without food and the ice and cold, not even a goosebump. Don't try this at home, kids. I like to push things to the limit because to me, it just goes to show that we're stronger as people than we think we are and we can achieve amazing things. Aside from the health benefits, which is the main reason I'm doing it, it's a sign of hope that we can work hard, do the impossible, and see our dreams come true. So why did I change my tank top, you may ask? I actually wanna wear my tank top all day. The problem is this, because when I put this on, we are required to wear this at all the facilities. And so a lot of times I just leave it on because it's easier to not have to take, take it on and off all the time or like me, having to forget things and get in trouble. So actually I haven't really gotten in trouble. People are usually pretty nice to me. They usually have sympathy. I'm like, I beg of you, I am so sorry. I forgot. I pretty much did that to DOT in Oklahoma. You know the one. You know the one. I'm 35. That always stops everybody and likes to do inspections. Got a clean inspection report, by the way. But I forgot to bring in my trailer inspection thing. And I was like, I am so sorry. I bleed of you. But I was happy. I got a clean inspection and I made it five years. Five years without being pulled into that scale for a paperwork check. <laughs> Which when I first walked in, I looked at him. He kind of looks at me funny. I'm like, 
five years. Five years is what I've made it without being pulled in here for a paperwork check. I think it's a new record. And he kind of chuckled. <laughs> oh. But yeah, back to the vest. So the vest, if I wear the tank top with the vest, it makes it look, let's see if I can do this. It makes it look like I'm naked. Like it, it literally covers up everything to where it looks like I'm completely naked underneath. And I, I don't want that added attention. Plus I think it kind of looks tacky. Although I'm sure some of the guys would appreciate that, but I'm not going to go there. I get enough attention out here. It is. As long as it's friendly attention, I don't mind. But it is time to roll. So I need to clean up. <laughs> Do the trailer trash type of thing in. And hit the road. Because we got a couple of tight runs today. I ran out of hours here in Wichita last night. Got to get back to Topeka. And then I got another load to grab for Oklahoma. Which I'm praying to the entities out there somewhere. Whoever is listening. <laughs> that there is no more ice because I hit that ice storm yesterday in Arkansas. Oh my God. Never again. I hate the ice. I like the snow. I hate the ice. Thank you.